when I drink beer, I do it by Maxwell style beer. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, probably not Dos Equis. <laughs> I think we're going to take a look at Dos Equis on Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews, where we usually review better stuff than this. Dos Equis is a Mexican beer from, who makes this stuff anyway? Imported beer, really. From uh, Mexico? Cervecia Guadalajara oh, Montezuma. Mean, hey, they were just, uh, Monterey, Mexico. They, these guys were just bought out by, um, by uh, uh, InBev, weren't they? Oh. oh. All I know is it's got two X's on it, which is not nearly enough X's. Well, don't they have a three X beer somewhere? Yeah, Molson's got a triple X. There you go. So triple it's not. It, I I assume it's not going to be as good as Molson triple X. It's not like I live for this shit. Well, three X's and triple X. Poor beer. All right. So tonight we are going to look at the least interesting beer in the world. That's not fair. It's not the least interesting beer in the world. No, no, I know. It's not even the least interesting beer from Mexico. Ginger beer. <laughs> I mean, come on, really? Ginger beer? I think ginger beer? No, that's like he's not ginger beer. No, the, the really just looks nasty like ginger stuff beer. from well, the summer. Well, it looks rather oh, clear. Oh, you mean Moosehead ginger. That was last year. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's really clear. It looks like pea. It looks like apple juice. It looks like your standard pale lager, to be honest. Hey, it lager, like lager water. It looks like something he drinks. Um, what's the ABV on this? It's 5%, isn't it? By law, in Canada, they're supposed to put the ABV on here. 4.5% ABV. Hey, sexy ladies. Alright, alright. Alright. Well, I figure you guys are doing the Gangnam Style behind the camera. You, guys, you, got, you, got, you know what? You, you, have to, you have to learn to ignore outside references on these shows. Do you know that? you know that? See this stuff here? You gotta ignore. I am trained to ignore this. Whatever. I am. It's because he's the most interesting close in the world. One, two. Oh, he's up. All right. So, your standard pale lager. It's a cerveza style light light lager beer. It, it's in the same class as like Carib or Corona or uh, Calic or something like when that. I, when it's, I when I hear Mexican beer, I think Corona. Yeah, and uh, Dos Equis is in the same vein, but. Uh, usually these guys have got that really, those really fancy commercials with that really interesting guy, the most interesting girl. I, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, it's a piece of shit. And, and it, there's an internet uh, mem, so I mean, <laughs> it must be valuable somewhere. Well, yeah, it must be. Well, it's good marketing. It's true. So anyway. is, is that where they put all their money? In marketing rather than in beer tasting? That's where most big macro beer companies put most of their money. Not in research and development? Research and development. They put most you of their think, yeah, yeah, research and development. That's where Bud Light and Lime Mojito came from. They put most of their money into silicon. <laughs> oh, sexy ladies. Sexy ladies. Alright, oh. ready? Oh. <laughs> alright, alright. Um yeah. You're gonna sing this all night. It's got a sweet grassy kind of smell. What do you think? Rice. Rice. Yeah. Um, they probably did use rice as an adjunct. It's kinda like get that Budweiser in the back kind of smell. But that said, it's not bad though. It's Does not it taste it's old? Does it smell like scum? No, no. I like your your like your Corona. Usually, when you pop up the ca cap off that one, it's, it's got a little scum. skunky. Yeah. There's yeah, a reason it requires here, this is like lime. It's like a five-month-old bottle of uh, Dos Equis, and it smells fine. Anyway, got the hatch. No skunky taste either. No. There's a little bit of that sweet floral kind of taste that you get in the rice beer. There's no taste in it at all. Hardly any. And maybe a little bit of corn. Yeah. But it's a very watery beer, but I can't say it's horrible. No, it's like, not bad. What do you think? Like it's it's a very it's like it's watery. It's refreshing. It's it's got a little sweet ricey taste and it's got a little bit of corn in it, but other than that, it's mainly a toasted grain and a little bit of malt. It's a very light, easy drinking beer, and it's not absolutely crap. I think that it's Osaki not great. I think that Osaki's guy is lying to us. Mm. Because if I drink beer, it's not going to be this. Yeah, to be totally honest, if, if you're, all you drink is Dos Equis, you're not the most interesting man. No, no, you're pretty common. <laughs> common man. But you know what? It's clever marketing, and I will give it to that. I'll give it to them that. But let's let's concentrate on the beer here. Mm. And um, are, you good to, are you good to call it? Light water eats your standard lager, but it's actually a really easy drinking beer. I don't like it hugely. Nope. It's your standard run-of-the-mill macro. 
If I were to give a number to this, I'd put 2.5 out of 5. And, uh, and me being logger guy, yeah. I'm going to give it a 3. Can you give it a 3? Yeah, well, no. I, I mean, I'd drink this again. Yeah. Would you drink this again? Yeah. You probably would buy this again. I ordered it over a Corona at a Mexican restaurant. Well, there you go. It's a lot better than Corona. It's a lot better yeah. than, like, Cariba Cali. Definitely. I don't know about Buck and Euro yet, though. Okay, well, I'll give it a 3.5 then. <laughs> You're going to give it a 3.5? Three three five. Five. Logger yeah. Boy here is going to give it a 3.5 just because he likes loggers. I do. He's, because he's the most interesting buds in the world. All right. Oh. Well, that said, I don't mind it. It's just, it's not incredible. It's just not the best beer I've had tonight. Well, not really. But it's not the worst. Um, anyway, actually, probably is the worst, but that's putting a bow against the competition, but whatever. Okay, so... I, yeah, I, I, three, 2.5 out of 5 for me, 3 for plus. Th thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Um, Jess and, uh, sorry, High School Mighty and Sith are behind the camera doing Gangnam Style, so really being to take this. Ignore them. Yeah. Like you wouldn't never be like. What, three minutes? Or? Okay, <laughs> well, we're done anyway. So thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Talk to you folks later. Cheers. Cheers.